Okay. Oh, what's this place? There's another safe thing there. What? What? Oh, this... I didn't know I could do this. Wait. Interesting. Yeah, but I wanted to see the map. Didn't I just pass the safe point? I did. There's, there's already a new one there. Fuck. Wow. They've been busy. Mm. So this is where they're making the, the trick dice. How shall we do this? Charge in shouting our heads off? No. No, we can't draw attention to ourselves. We need to slip in undetected and find out what they're doing. H hide yourselves. Some, some sobs are coming. <sighs> what do they have to build it so far away? Huh. Fool, any closer in the people of the city would, would surely discover it. They're from Goldpaw, they must be. <laughs> Arr, I have a mighty fine idea all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, I think I might be thinking what you're thinking. Huh? Okay, sure. Oh, poor doggos. <sighs> Guess I should have expected as much from a pair of sky pirates. Are you sure this will work? Only one way to find out, lad. We'll keep watch out there, out here. Off you go and sneak into that there dice factory. Just don't be too long, all right? Guess we don't have much choice. Come on. Okay. Not, not a lot of humans here, though. Almost exclusively, exclusively <gasps> doggos. Who? I was sure he was gonna see through our disguise. Well, he didn't. Looks like this might just work. All right. All right. We need at least two forms of proof. The first is something tying Pugnacious directly to, to the deception. Some kind of documentary evidence would be ideal. The next is evidence of how they're manipulating the dice. My my guess is they're not using magic. Oh. Really? But how, how else could it be done? <laughs> oh, there are ways. We have a few different techniques for manipulating things from a distance where I'm from. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody here has come up with something similar. All right. All right. Let's find that proof. Let's do it. These disguises should should help us get close to the people who work here. Maybe we can pick up some clues. Okay. Let's talk to Peeps. Hey. Hmm. Uh, how, how dare you? I'm not idling. I, I have something very important to do. What about you, hmm? Should you not be getting back to work also? Hey there! How many dice have you made today, friend? I'm feeling especially productive. I think I might, may even break my daily record. It's a huge pile of trick dice for use in the casino. They don't seem to have anything to do with the Lux die, though. Oh, what's that? Yep. My superior told me recently that, despite appearances to the contrary, these devices are not actually powered by magic. He says that, in fact, they rely on a technology that we imported from another kingdom. I'm not sure I believe him. It's tr it, it looks like magic to me. It looks like some kind of control unit, but there's no way you'll be able to sneak it out, sneak it out under the workers' noses. There might be another one lying lying around somewhere, though. Hello. Remote device, yes. Ah. Roland, look. Huh. This must be it. And based on all this stuff, it looks like w what I thought. A remote control for, for Lady Deluxe dies. It's just like you said. <laughs> <laughs> A lucky guess. Anyhow, Pugnacious m must have one of these. So this is how he keeps t taxes so high? And how he stole Niall's forest from him? 
It sure seems that way, and it's also how, how we're going to make him pay. We could really use some proof connecting Prognatius to this place. All right, let's look around. Let's look around a little more. I mean, look at look at, uh, at the other side. Uh huh. Hey there. Hey there. You there? Have you seen my blueprints? Hmm. You do not even know what blueprints are. Ah, oh, forgive me. I should have taken better care better care of them. There's nothing very incriminating around here. There's plenty of notes on ordering materials and so on, but none of it proves that Prognatius has done anything wrong. Uh. There, all the dice meet the required standard, and that is, that is this week's quota met. So now it's time to relax. Arp, arp. It looks like a tool that's worth by, used by workers here. It doesn't look especially suspicious. Set of signed instructions. Oh. Look at this, it, it was in the drawer. That's Prognatius' signature at the bottom. Uh -huh. Looks like instructions on what he wants them to build. I'm guessing these were supposed to be destroyed. Luckily for us, somebody didn't do their job. Well, that's certainly unde undeniable proof. Wonderful. That's everything we need. Come on, let's get out of here. Nah. Something's gonna happen. Of course. Unauthorized intruders detected initiating attack sequence. My goodness! Tani, Batu! Blimey! Sorry, looks like we got rumbled. What's this horrible thing doing here anyway? I don't like our chances, girly. Gah, they're trapped. Come on! Then we have to help them. What is that? It's a golem. Mossy Monument, the, archite uh, the architectural monstrosity. Come on! Whoa! Please calm down. Don't do that. Do it again! Fuck yeah! You did it! Woo! I thought, I thought my goose was cooked there for a second. Looks like the people in the factory didn't notice the racket either. We got lucky there. Well... Did you find your pr precious proof? Mm. Yes, we found the device Pugnacious uses to control the die's movement. Ah, that's the stuff, lad. Now we can hang. Now we can hang the swindling dog out to dry. We sure can. With this thing to help us, we'll be able to expose him for for the fraud he is. Evan, I need you to be. I need you. I need you to be sure you're okay with what you're about to do. We'll be interfering directly in another country's affairs. If it doesn't go well for us, things could get ugly. And if they get if they go really badly, you could be making an enemy of an entire nation. Are you willing to take that risk? Stealing from one's own people is unforgivable. We cannot stand by and let that happen. We have to give we have to give the citizens of Gold of Goldpaw their country back. That's the stuff, man! Yeah. Yeah. I knew you wouldn't let them walk all over them. Oi! You grow more kingly by the day, your majesty. Uh-huh. 
You really are starting to look like uh, sound like a king, you know that? All right, our leader has set out his policy. And now it's time to implement it. A watery barrage bow. Is it good? It's very good. Hello. The voice can be heard coming from the Higgledy Stone. Well, my traveler, show me what you've got. Give me what I like, and I will, and I will like you quite a lot. Hey, I know it's talking about them mushrooms, ain't it? The sticky, slimy, gunky ones. Uh, gooey, slippery. Yeah. These ones, right? Should try offering a, bu a bunch of gunk shrooms. Well done, traveler. This is what I mean. That's the greatest offering that I have ever seen. Oh, so cute! The higgledy hidden inside the stone come, comes flying out. Mutton Bane the Mushy has decided to join you on your adventure. Yay! Wait, wait. Sorry, do. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll remove one of these. How are they in terms of stats? They're, 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 uh, I like Whiff Whap. Whiff Whap, though. Yeah. Mutton Bane the Mushy. What are, what, are, what are its stats? Will occasionally create more Higgledies when attacked from their own element. Slightly decrease. Yeah, I'll get this one. Wasn't there a safe? There was, though. Oh, it wasn't a safe point. It, it was that, that thing, the Higgledy thing. Okay. And now I go back to Master Pugnacious. <laughs> no no trouble there, right? That, this won't lead to a conflict or anything. There, there was a chest here and I didn't know. Elite Sorcerer's Ring. I don't know. What does that do? I don't want to I don't I don't want to change my my ring. Elite sorcerers. Magic boosted when HP low. Nah, man. Gold. Gold paw. Fortune square. Yeah. Is there no place to save around here? Okay. Fuck. I'd be taking a dumb risk. Hey, Master Pregnatius. Hmm. Ah, uh, you again. Did Lady Luck provide evidence of the dust dastardly machinations of which you was you imagined us guilty? Master Pugnacious, you have deceived Nile and, and, and your pe and your own people, the very people you're supposed to serve. Hmm? More wild ac accusations? And where is your proof, huh? Did you find evidence of trickery? Some in ingenious device hidden somewhere in inside Lady Luck, perhaps? Come on, you know we're on to you. Why not drop the act? There's no act to drop. I'm innocent, as the, mis as the min mistress of fortune herself will attest. Will she now? Huh. That's not such a bad idea. Here, she's she's the one who passes judgment on legal matters around here. How does the trial sound? Indeed. It sounds like a very fine idea indeed. Yes, this is the way of gold, Paw. All matters of state, be they legal, political, or otherwise, are decided by the role of the sacred dice. And as ruler of this great nation, I, have, I am more than willing to submit myself to the judgment of Lady Luck. But know that if I am found... Innocent, I shall treat your attempted at sedition with the gravity they, they deserve. You will be punished for for crimes against the state. Do you accept my terms? Mm. We do. Then we will begin the, the preparations right away. Come to the square at the at the appointed time. All right. Time for the main event. 
I'll leave this to you if you don't mind, Roland. Sure. Sure, I was ho hoping you'd say that. I might need to save the game. Where's the where's the closest safe spot? Eat. Preparations are complete. The trial can get underway as soon as you've confirmed that you are ready. Well, shall we begin? Begin the trial. Mm. Very well. If you would please take your places. Hereby convened the trial of fortune, trial by fortune of Master Pregnatius, Grand High Ruler of, of Goldpaw. Being the defendant, his eminence will be unable to preside of, over this hearing. As such, it falls to me to discard, uh, discharge his duties. I hope you will forgive my doubtless clumsy efforts in, in this most unfamiliar role. A trial is underway, and with the Grand High Ruler at the in the dock, no less. What in the world can have happened? Um, why are you dressed like that, Roland? Uh, because it's, this is a court of law. The defendant, Master Pregnatius, Grand High Roller of Goldpaw, bows his head be before Lady Luck and submits to her judgment in this matter. <laughs> he stands accused of dereliction of duty, specifically the knowing deception of his people. In the prosec if the prosecution would like to begin by making its case, I intend to prove to this court that Master Pregnatius did knowingly and willingly, with the aid of a network network of his most trust trusted retainers, defraud the very people with with whose care he is entrusted. Further, I will show that he is he distributed devices among his accomplices, which were used to carry out deception on a grand scale throughout the through the manipulation of dice rolls. <laughs> I do not doubt that you have found evidence of some tri trifling chicanery among low-level officials, but to allege that this administration as a whole is complicit in, in such behavior is, is preposterous. I do not, have not, and will never engage in dishonest practices of, of any kind, and to accuse me of such is to defame my character and call my good name into question. Perhaps you will permit those present to withhold judgment on the matter of your innocence until I have presented my proof. Roland offers a, offers a set of signed instructions as proof. But... What is the meaning of this? I think you know very well. After all, this document was written by you, was it not? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the prosecution's key exhibit. Written instructions for the assembly of man manipul manipulable dice, clearly signed by Master Pugnatius. Does the accused have anything to say in his defense? No, only no, that my, no, no. Only that my prior out outburst was merely an expression of shock at the brazenness of this shameless act. I have never seen this document in my life. To stoop to the fabrication of evidence is a pitiful ta tactic indeed. It is a forgery, plain and simple. Why don't we let Lady Luck be the judge of that? By all means. It seems that both sides are satisfied to entrust in judgment on this matter to the to the mistress of fortune. May the die roll stand it as the undisputed word of truth. Lady Luck, grant us an even number in, if this evidence be false. If it be otherwise, let the, let the number be odd. Time to show the people of Goldpaw just how badly they've been misled. is judged to be false. Really? Lady Luck has spoken. But I told you, Majesty. No. Yep. <clears throat> yep. What is happening? The die. Something is wrong with the die. Correct. Which brings us to the crux of the prosecution's case. That Master Pugnacious knowingly manipulated Lady Luck. Whoa! No! Yeah, with this remote control, 
bell thingy. Yep. You done fucked up. What now, fucker? But but this is by the use of, co of the remote control, the outcome of Lady Luck's die rolls can be readily manipulated. The prosecution was able to visit the, the place where, where these devices are manufactured and to, and to procure one for, for, for its own purposes, namely the demonstration of this fraud. Master Pregnatius deliberately kept the taxes high and stole Niles' forest from him. And all using this, this horrible trick. Master Pregnatius? Can this really be true? Cheat! Deceiver! Shame on you, you are the Grand High Roller! Don't you have anything to say for yourself? All that I did, I did for Goldpaw. I had to make this nation rich, richer than any other. It was the only way. What do you mean? The bond between this... The bond with, with this people is weakening. Soon it will be time. What? I mean, it was pretty obvious you were you were the one in control. Oh fuck! Is that is that his kingmaker? Is that a phoenix? What's that? It's the kingmaker, Longfang. He doesn't Longfang. look happy. Longfang. Is it a Here phoenix? Phoenix tiger? Why? Master Pugnacious, huh? your right to rule has been tested and found wanting. What? My plan is complete. Your king's body Wait, I know you. Boy. I know you. Weren't you in the in the in the previous game? I have a vague idea of like I have this vague idea that I know you. Wait! Oh fuck, what just happened? Oh shit. That's bad. Am I gonna have to fight that thing? Uh, I think so. Shit. He brought me to an arena. Butcher Baker and Kingmaker. Huh? Where are we? It's an interdimensional. It's an interdimensional dimension, ain't it? And if we don't do something, it'll eat up this this whole kingdom. What? what? Then we have to stop Long Fang. You went wrong there. You're not wrong. You're not wrong there, my boy. Come on, let's knock some sense back into old Bitey, shall we? It's just surely that that there ain't, ain't just a kingmaker. It is a kingmaker gone. Do Larry, a blessed realm wrecker. Don't be like that, man. Where there's a will, there's a way. He's lost his marbles in it, which means we can we can't keep a, a lid on all that power. And what and what happens to, to to power you you can't keep a lid on? That's right, it comes flying out of you. And the places where it comes flying out are exactly the places to wallop. Okay, hit him where it, where it hurts, and you and you'll hurt him good and proper. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, don't worry about knowing where those special spots are. Thanks to your bond with yours truly, you'll be able to spot spot them in no problem. Be no time. Weak spots. Okay. Realm Wreckers are, are, are kingmakers that have lost control of their enormous power and run wild as, as a result. This power escapes from them in bright glowing bursts. The points from which this ener energy escapes are particularly vulnerable to attack, so if you focus your assault on them, you'll deal a massive amount of damage. Okay, I'm doing damage. Higmakers are mysterious entities that have that has absorbed the power of kingmakers, giving them the ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them gather together. They're born from items into which a king ma kingmaker has instilled instilled its power. So, so if you if you smash up anything a kingmaker creates, you'll just find some. When enough of them have appeared, a gold circle will surround them and they'll beckon you over to press X and call on their always impressive assistance. Okay. 
Dois. Yeah. Heidi. Nice. Okay, got him. Oh, there's another one. Are there any more of those rocks? Stay there, please. We're doing okay so far. I'm counting on you. Look, yeah, get those rocks. Thing, get the thing, get the thing. Fuck. What happened to the circle? It, it, it disappeared. Do something? Please do something. I don't know what to do with you. Oh, they're helping me at least. That's cool. I need your help. What are you gonna do? Beat him. Are you okay? Are you gonna are you gonna become good again? Please? 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 Yeah, what happened here? This this here's a square in it. Whew, we're back. I suppose that means Longfang is really has calmed down, for now at least. Guess we'd better tie up some loose ends, huh? So wh what's up, dude? Ugh, I've done the unforgivable. My desire to lift my kingdom out of poverty became all-consuming greed. That weakness made, made me vulnerable and he exploited it. Who was he? The one who stole your, ki your king's bond. He came to me some months ago. He promised sec secret knowledge, knowledge of, the, uh, of ways in which our nation might be made e yet greater, and in return, he sought high office. It was he who suge suggested that the dice be manipulated, who gave me the means by which it might be done. W when did I fall under his spell, and how? How could I have allowed such a thing to happen? Managed to calm your kingmaker down, but without your king's bond, will you? Uh, will things here be okay? You, you, you have bought us a little time. He will sleep a while yet. 
But in time he will reawaken and in the absence of the bond he will seek to destroy our kingdom once again. But why? Curses Skelly Pate. There ain't no jot of rhyme or reason to such wanton sa savagery. Not now. Shh. Master Pugnacious, for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your bond, will you help us? Forgive me, I haven't int even introduced myself properly. I am Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Tildren. I have formed a pact with the Kingmaker of, Cri of the Cradle of Light, and mean to found a new, state a new nation in the Heartlands. Will you stand with me? So that is what, what I sensed in you. It was plain to me from the first that, that you were no ordinary child, but what, did it, what is it that you propose? I want to protect our world. I want to make sure that nobody else has to lose what's most important to them. And I want you to help me. I will do all that I can, of course. I fear that he who stole my king's bond may not be satisfied with mine alone. Th this being so, we must stand together with our brother nations or, or lose all that is most dear to us. With this in mind, I mean to, I mean to return Niles Forest to him. Indeed, I mean to return all that I stole. Word of my decision has been sent to Nile already, of course. Thank you. Really, thank you so much, Master Pugnacious. Gold Paul will rise again, and it's big people with it. I wish you good fortune in your quest, friends. Let's go back to Nile. Yee. Force of Nile. Sunny Patch Pond. Hey, fucker. Fuck. Can you give me a, a, a spell to open a uh, chess? Eee. That's just a bit of money. Some change. Crevens. You beauties, you bonnie, bonnie, you beauties. I've got me forest back. My forest back. And it's all thanks to yourselves. You can have all the trees you want. Knock, your, knock yourselves out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. Wait, Niall, Pugnacious had his king's bond stolen by a creepy snake-headed weirdo. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Jinx! Stolen, Jinx! His kingmaker his kingmaker must be tearing the place to pieces. Aye. Aye, it won't it, aye, aye, it won't it too, sure enough. But we taught it a, a little lesson it won't forget. Gold post safe for now. I, I, I'm not re even remotely referencing their old, their actual voices. King's bond stealing is no mean feat, though. He didn't happen to, to, to be infusing things with the awful filthy fog, did he? Mm. Yes, sort of purple aura. Mm. That'll be the horned one, horned one's doing then. Simple enough. The horned one. The old king make the old king maker of a place called Allegoria. Nasty piece of work and no mistake. For someone to be using the the beast's powers would would have to mean. Aye. I, I kind of see, I kind of see it being anyone but Dolorin. He was the he was the king that shared the bond with the creature. Uh -huh. So we just need to go to this allegory place to get the bond back, right? I have a I have a job doing that. I'm afraid allegory hasn't existed for oh two thousand or more years now. It disappeared along with the land on which it stood. Golly! So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for centuries. Ah. What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Whatever he is, I'd say he's looking to pinch people's king's bond in order to try and bring the horned one back somehow. If he does that, the whole world's the whole world will be filled with purple fog before we before he can say we're doomed. Hmm. So Pugnacious was right. He'll he'll be trying to steal more king's bonds. What are you what are you looking what are you looking like? Uh, at, at me like that, man, fur man. We must, then we mustn't let let him succeed. We can't let him bring back the horned one. We sure can't. 
But if we're going to stop him, we'll need the strength of an entire kingdom. A kingdom we haven't even started building yet. Then let's get to work, shall we? Ah, time, time, time to start to get building, me hearties. Hey, sounds like a plan is right enough. I'd best come with you. You'll be needing my help. Uh, r really? Speaking of which, thing will be getting underway by now, I reckon. Hmm? Look. Ah, uh, it smells a smell on the wind. Not a progress. Seems the magic dolls got tired of twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> yeah, it does have a pirate's voice. Oh my! Where do all these people come from? I see Sky Pirates, Greenlings, and a few people from Ding Dong Dell. They must all want to be citizens of our amazing kingdom. But they must, right enough. But how did the swabs even know to come a knock on? <laughs> you have me to thank for that, son. I didn't I didn't expect so many to turn up so soon, to be honest. I put the word out in the street you can. Oh we thank you for getting my old getting the old forest back, like that's more than we could have hoped for. Oh, think nothing of it. I ask only the teensy weensy of favors in return that you make me your minister of finance. There's none. There's none can pinch a, pinch a penny like I like I can. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. So if Niall's the minister of finance, I guess uh, that makes that to the minister of defense. <laughs> so in charge of fighting, you mean? I like the sound of that. Of, of, of that a good deal, of her. And I guess I can be your advisor. I have a little experience running a country. I'm sure I can help you, help you out here and there. No, you'll, you'll be my chief consul. I'm no politician, Roland. I shall, I shall need your help. Well, that's very kind of you, Evan. I just, I just don't know if I'll be. It's the king's job to appoint his ministers, correct? Then I hereby appoint you chief consul. <laughs> well. All right then, Chief Consul, it is by royal appointment. Thank you. Thank you, Roland. No problem. Happy to see you finally taking the lead. I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure if I'll, if I'll be up to the job, but I have to try. And thanks, and thanks to all of all of you, I finally feel ready to. I'll try my best for your sakes and for mine. That's it, man. I almost forgot. If we're building a kingdom, we'll need a proper tidy name in it to make things official, like. He, I've been doing some, some thinking about that. I've decided to call our kingdom Evermore. Oh, nice. Well, it's a good what name. Do you think? It's a very, very good name, actually. Evermore, huh? I like it. Did you come up with that yourself? Oh no, it's from an ancient story. It's the story of a great kingdom with, whose people were so happy that they wished for it to last forever. Huh. Fitting. All right, Mr. King, you've you've named your country. Time to time to address your adoring citizens. Yahar. Listen up, ye magey curs! King Evans got a rousing speech for ya! Pay attention! Huh? Hmm. Thank you all! Building our new kingdom won't be easy, but we will build it! A beautiful, bountiful kingdom! Where everyone can live happily ever after. Wow. I mean, it's really I basic. I want you but, okay. all to join me on this journey. Praise. The road ahead may be a long one, but at the end of it, there is hope. Yeah! Sure. <laughs> There's King Liwa. Yeah. That wasn't half bad. <laughs> nice speech, Evan. 
Couldn't have done better myself. This is where it all begins. Here and now. Our kingdom. We're with you to the bitter end, lad. Come hell or high water. Thank you. All of you. So the people who had heeded Neil's call... Neil? Really? Fuck off. ...set about building their new nation. And Evermore took its first faltering steps on the road to becoming a kingdom. Cool. A kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after. Just as Arinella had wished. Or so they hoped. For someone with a brand new kingdom, you don't look very happy. Uh, I am happy, but I'm worried. There's still so much we don't know. And now there's a force bent on destroying our whole world. How can I ever hope to overcome something like that? Well, You can't, on your own. But you're not on your own, are you? No. Not anymore. I have friends beside me. The best friends I could ever hope for. So you do get it. That's right. So turn to them when you need to. And take it one step at a time. You'll get there in the end. I suppose so. I can only do my best after all. <laughs> exactly. And your best is only going to get better. I'll see you again soon, Evan. Yes. See you soon.